Assalamualaikum. We are students from College Professional in Ramah Kota Mara. I am Amira Ashikin. And, and I'm Nurhani. I'm Nurhani Shaila, which is lovely. Okay, so today's interview is for our sociology subject. So we need to interview an Insta hero that we followed on Instagram. We decided to interview Encik Muhammad Asri about his background and there will be 14 questions to be asked. The first five questions will be asked by me, Amir Ashikin. Next five questions will be asked by Nuru Izati. And last four questions will be asked by Hani Shahira. Okay. Before we get into the questions, can Encik Asri introduce yourself a bit to us? Sure. Um, my name is Muhammad Asri Yusof. Uh, you can call me Mr. Asri. I am momentarily teaching English in NMRSM Mu'azam Shah. Previously, I have taught in two different NMRSMs. Um, technically, four. Uh, I have been substituting in NMRSM uh, Tuna Abdul Razak Pekan, <coughs> doing my practical in NMRSM Kuantan. Uh, but my first posting was in uh, NMRSM Sandakan and NMRSM Sempurna. Right now, in NMRSM Mu'azam Shah. Um, I am 31 years old. Uh, two lah. I am, uh, uh, as you guys uh, know already, I am one of the alumni uh, yeah. for College Professional Mara in Ramakota. I took mm -hmm. Diploma in English Communication as well. Uh, okay, first question. Could you share your academic achievement from Diploma until the latest one? Right. Um, I, like I said, I took Diploma in English Communication uh, in College Professional Mara in Ramakota um, back in 2008, July 2008 up until... December 2011, it was three years. You guys took diploma in English application for two and a half years, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. So it was three years for me, yeah. Um, oh, and then I, yeah, I took three years uh, of uh, diploma. Uh, and then I took my degree uh, in Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, um, Bachelor of a Bachelor of Education teaching English for speakers of other languages oh. <clears throat> for four years. So uh, it took me seven years uh, before I started teaching. Yes. Mm. That's my academic uh, repertoire, I would say. Okay. okay. Next question. Throughout your study journey, what was your proudest and memorable moment? Okay. Two uh, parts of this question, right? One proudest, second part is um, memorable. memorable. I would say the proudest achievement I, I got was um, when I was um, being elected, um, being selected as um, the best student overall. The, the award name is um, Anugrah uh, Pelajar Terbaik Keseluruhan, the overall best student uh, in Majlis Convocation, um, KPM. Um, from Malaysia uh, back in PICC in 2011 it was in October 2011 uh, that was for me the proudest moment for my family and uh, when I was in New Zealand I was the only Malaysian who received um, Teachers of English Award by Victoria wow. University mm. Foundation yeah, Alhamdulillah as well um, that, um, those two are the proudest moment. The most memorable one was when I was back in KPM Code. Uh, I don't want to like divulge into details uh, about this story, but this is very memorable to me because what happened was I went to Malacca uh, with my uh -huh. a group of friends for a society, uh, individual and society subject. Individual and group skills. The, the title of the subject is IGS. I don't know whether the subject is still there for you guys to take. But um, I need to do a documentary. So what I did, I went to Malacca to visit a Portuguese settlement oh. back in Malacca. So uh -huh. uh, I went there with uh, 200 ringgit. I bought, uh, I borrowed from my sister because that uh, that is the arrangement from my friends. I, uh, I went there during Ramadan. Uh, the arrangement was wow. the 200 ringgit includes um, makan, hotel, uh. everything. <laughs> So uh, I don't have I have twenty ringgit left in my pocket. So because my sister borrowed me the money, so I plan to buy something for her. So I lost that twenty ringgit uh -huh. for her. So I don't have any money. And I, I think it's fine because I'm going uh, there. Uh, makan uh, was being prepared, everything right. But turns out when I was 
uh, on my way back to Kuantan from Melaka I need to uh, take the bus and then the bus stopped masa berbuka uh, during uh, breaking the fast and the, the driver said okay everyone uh, boleh berbuka in Petronas first so uh, my friend said okay we don't going, we are not going to use the money that we are collected you guys are going to use your own money but I don't have any money I'm so hungry because I, uh-huh. I lost the whole day right so what I, what I did uh-huh. I went back to the Petronas toilet and I drink the um <laughs> i fight uh, because i was so i was so and i cried i cried like a lot i mm. i said to myself i don't want to be i don't want me or even my students my child anyone my friend to be in the same situation as i am and then i go back to the bus i uh, i drank uh, the i fight i'm fine but my friend saw me and she didn't know anything but she gave me 500 ringgit if i five ringgit to buy oh, food you. As if she knew things, not five hundred, five hundred. Yes, that is the most memorable. I would say. Okay. Okay. Next is um in your point of view, since you were the best students during your diploma, do you think other people view you as committed and dedicated in your education? That is an interesting, interesting question. You know uh, why? Because the announcement for overall best student, usually for any ceremony, the announcement for the biggest award for student would be uh, at the end of the ceremony, right? But what yeah. happened during my um, convocation, the announcement was at the beginning because the mentally wants to go back. I don't have no idea why he, he wants to go back earlier. Uh, so um, the announcement was early on. But the uh, I uh, um, the ceremony left my speech at the end, so uh, what I um, uh, I was being announced as the overall best student, and during in the middle of the ceremony, I went to the toilet uh, just to wash my my face etc. And then there was a a, a guy um, from KPM Melaka, if I'm mistaken. They greeted me. As we congratulations, you won best uh, overall best student award. I said thank you, and then he he asked me this question. I remember still. Eh? I didn't know him. And he and he asked me, um, uh, awak memang belajar bagus eh? You are very a studious kind of a person, ke? And I remember telling him, no, what happened to me, uh, was because of uh, my mom's doa. So the perception of people towards me that I am a very studious, I I study a lot, I study very hard. My life uh, revolves around me opening books, uh, uh, studying uh-huh. like a lot of yeah. time. But if you know me personally, my friends knew, knew me. If you know me personally, I'm not like that at all. Um, uh, that's why uh, when I was in semester four, um, I got four flat for the very first time. And I got oh. um, four flat for three consecutive semesters. I, I am not happy at all. I cry. I'm crying not because I'm happy. I'm crying because I don't think I deserve that. Because I have friends who did tahajud every night, who did solat hajat every night. And I don't think I didn't do that. I, I my, my effort for Allah is not as hard as my friends. So I think I don't deserve such uh, recognition, such uh, achievements. Yeah. I don't know whether I answered your question or not, yeah, but that's what I felt at that time, yes. Okay, okay next question. Um, what makes you attracted to further your study at University of Wellington instead of another two universities you were offered? All right, uh, in Victoria University, uh, uh, for uh, uh, University of Glamorgan, UK, I was being offered Bachelor of... Uh, Media communication. That is the title of the degree. Um, I realized that I don't have the marketable face to be uh, in broadcasting. Uh, field. I have, uh, I have the market. Maybe not in Malaysia. In India, maybe can I resemble Shahrukh Khan a bit, right? No, uh, <laughs> but, but I would say, um, I need to be grounded, lah. I need to be aware of the fact that I'm not the best looking guy in the business for me to be able to be in the show business. So that is why I think oh, I uh, Victoria University, uh, Victoria University of Wellington's offer a uh, much appeal to my upper sense of self. But uh, having said that, um, Victoria University of Wellington. Uh, Punya offer pun uh, is kind of um, uh, attractive. Why? Because they offered me a scholarship for four years. Scholarship offer. It was a scholarship. Whereas um, for Glamorgan, University of Glamorgan in London, it was a convertible loan. And uh, they offered me five years contract to teach in MRSM. So work 
<coughs> confirmed already. So I think Ooh. that's the best offer to take lah. That is why I took uh, Victoria as my choice. And uh, yeah, I didn't choose UKM because I want to go to New Zealand. Ah uh, okay. Okay. Next question: Did you face <coughs> any difficulties while studying abroad? Abroad. Okay, interesting question. You guys are studying diploma in English communication right now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. I want to ask you this question. Do you think um? So you guys in semester three, four, six, six, six already? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. On a scale of one to ten, I want to ask you guys. On a scale of one to ten, how hard is diploma in English communication? Ten being very hard. I want to die. One being senang gila. But I nearly died. <laughs> you nearly, you uh, nearly died, Amira. Okay, one to ten, ten lah. No. You think so? Uh, How about Hani? Eight. Eight. Uh, eight. I would say Hany? eight, eight, eight as well. Yes. Idati, you guys are being safe. Uh, six. 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 You guys are telling me this because like your lecturers are going to watch this, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, listen. I would say diploma in English communication was very hard. It was very hard for me. Yeah. Bachelor of Education, diploma at New Zealand, the degree was very easy. I I had like oh, seven really? class, seven up until eight, and then I don't have any class anymore. My, uh, Tuesday I don't have any class. Wednesday I have two hours class, two up until four. Thursday I don't have any class. Fr- Friday I have eight up until ten. Now like, that's it. That's uh-huh. it for the week, and I don't have any final examination. Ooh. I don't. Uh, all, everything is an assignment. Uh, only one or two tests for four years I studied. Eh? Only one or two tests I took. Other than Ooh. that, all assignments, Ooh. and I have to go through <laughs> four schools to to do my practical in New Zealand. So I went there and I teach in New Zealand for in the, four different schools. So Ooh. it was a great experience. I feel like I, I, I was in heaven. I'm not kidding. But the only thing that I, um, um, the difficulties to like, I would say the first one during winter, uh, I feel a bit much like, depressed. Uh, winter, it's, it's not, uh, we are not um, kind uh, of like uh, uh, ready for that kind of season uh-uh. because we never experience that, right? So it's, yeah. it's kind of uh, interesting. Like, my, like my body, like I responded weirdly towards winter i mm. i like the weather i like rain because we don't have snow now we only have macam hujan because that's why terengganu during monsoon time i call it winter as well because summer really turn for hujan right but then again um sec- my second uh, challenges i would say the earthquake code uh, i i experienced like 7.1 monstrous scale richter uh, earthquake when i was oh, in 2014 yeah earthquake uh, other than that i think It was a, um, um, uh, I I don't know, um, a wonderful <laughs> experience for me. It was like a dream. I would say that. I see. Hmm. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, sir. So, um, for the next questions is um, why you choose to be a teacher? Even yeah, we know uh, there is a lot of uh great job. Uh, opportunity opportunities with higher salary that suits your qualifications. Yeah. Uh, okay. In order for me to uh, to find a job that suits my qualification, I think teacher je yeah <laughs> suits my qualification. But I can always be macam because I took we took English can so we can always mm-hmm. be a human resource uh, manager ke we can always uh-huh. be uh, somewhere in broadcasting ke because you guys all three of you have pretty faces please go for broadcasting masuk TV tiga ke etc right no seriously but. Um, what happened to me? I didn't. I didn't want to be a teacher. Pun, to be very honest, since oh. um, uh, primary school, secondary school, whenever people ask me what I want to be in the future, I always said, "Saya nak jadi Eli Iskandar." You know Eli Iskandar? Eli Iskandar. Uh, the, uh, yes, the MHI host. I I uh-huh. always said that I want to be in the television and talk because I love to talk so much, can. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. Uh, what happened to me when I was in New Zealand? The first month we were uh, sent to a school at the Newlands College, number there, uh, the intermediate school. Uh, that is the first time I met the teachers and uh, uh, New Zealand teachers, and we have been given a mentor. I spoke to that mentor uh, in full length, and that is when uh, I would think it my um, defining moments. I would say how uh, it nurture. Um, 
the spirit of uh, I wanted to be a teacher at that time. Mm-hmm. I want I, I saw the passion in her. She was mm-hmm. so dedicated in her work, and I think I, I want to be the teacher because of her. So it's never about the salary. Of course, it's about salary, yeah, because I need to. Mm-hmm. I came from a very low social academic background. I want to, uh, apa, uh, help my uh, contribute to my family, etc. Et right, but I think it it's a fulfilling, rewarding career to be with, and I'm so grateful to be in this profession. I would say. I understand. Well, Seth, um, have you ever felt disappointed in yourself when you make any mistakes in your teaching performance? Okay, uh, I never, I, I never make mistakes. I'm very good. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, of course. Uh, I was being, uh, when I was in my same Kuantan, I was being given a mentor. Um, nama dia Madam Wan Shariza. She's very kind. But you first you put, oh, I'm, I'm, I think it will be a piece of cake for me in my same Kuantan. Turns out she's very, very adamant. When I was teaching. Uh, uh, she's at the back of the class she's observing me teaching kan and then I teach uh-huh. I teach I teach and then uh, right after I thought oh I'm doing very great I'm <laughs> Oscar of course kan? <laughs> but then again bila jumpa dia for reflection she uh, scolded me for a lot of things I did she was very adamant so, actually you didn't do that you didn't do that you should have do- done this you should have done that etc um, so it was tough It was tough. Um, at, um, at first, I thought that um, I, I am not a good teacher. Turns out, she wants to uh, mold me into being mm-hmm. an excellent teacher. So that is why she's being tough on me. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I remember I complained to my lecturer back in New Zealand. I said, uh, I have a mentor. She's very adamant, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I did a lot of things. She didn't appreciate it at all. Mm-hmm. But my mentor, mm-hmm. uh, my, my lecturer back in New Zealand replied to me dekat email. Satu je. Mm-hmm. Dia, Asri, apa? Uh, Iron sharpens iron, she, uh, she, as he oh. said. Uh, so, uh, oh. a good mentor will uh, mold a good student. Uh, right now, I'm very close to my mentor. Like that. <laughs> Alright, sir. Uh, so, what what made you believe that you are a good teacher? Um, I, I don't think so, to be very honest. I'm not being humble, ke apa ke? No, I don't think I'm a good teacher. I'm, I'm still trying my best. Um, but to have um, people recognize me for things like uh, such as... Um, sure? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Ada orang call, sorry. <laughs> Dengar kan? Um, uh, I, I joined MC Plus. I, don't, I didn't know whether you guys know MC Plus or not. Uh, yang Sefati, Se Uzairi, those... Oh. Uh, superstars kan I, I'm one of them right now uh, I'm teaching English there and uh, every class I did ada Nazir tau and Nazir will uh, observe me and I was being complimented a lot wow uh, yeah Alhamdulillah so um, being alamak 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 kejap eh ramai ni orang call tiba-tiba um, uh, macam tu lah I, I, I feel um, a sense of what was the word uh, sekejap um, the word is a self-assuredness I would say I'm not arrogant I'm self-assured that I think I think I'm in the right path I'm not good yet I'm in the right path to be an excellent teacher because um, uh, for teaching profession yeah, I didn't know what, I didn't know whether you guys are, want to be a teacher or not but uh, in teaching career we can like progress in our career right so I can I am actually going to um, be a guru cemerlang later I want to apply to be and I really want to be a pengetua one day Uh, oh. So you guys pray for me. Uh, I, I I I aim a lot in my life, and I um, uh, like I not achieve higher in my life for the purpose of uh, myself. I want to uh, find satisfaction in my job, and also I want to contribute to my family. So pray for me. Yeah. All right, sir. Um, how do you usually prepare yourself uh before you going into a class? <laughs> I'm teaching English, right? So I didn't, I didn't prepare. Be- Why I say that? Because I'm comparing myself to other teachers, teacher mathematics, uh, math teachers, physics teachers. They like, uh-huh. they are like uh, studying a night before over the weekend. Like a hot malam, they are studying for Monday's class. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I can actually like go bring a book and then just go in the class and 
uh, start to uh, start teaching. But I plan what I teach. So uh, the plan was um, uh, I prepare students for the examination, and of course, I need to cover all the things in the textbook. I'm the kind of teacher who didn't like to teach based on textbook. But right now, for CEFR, we need to like religiously follow the chapters in textbook. So. It's a challenge for me um, because I'm not the I'm not a conservative type. I'm a rebellious type. I I <laughs> I want to do things differently from other teachers. I always ask my students whenever, much like, uh, the beginning of the week, contoh class Monday, kan, I always ask. Okay, guys, we have three classes to this week. Um, uh, hari apa nak tengok movie? Like that. So much like, oh, wow. I want them to like. Uh, I want Bye. them to to enjoy movies. Kenapa? Uh, nanti you ask me another question. Nanti I ask. You, Kenapa? <laughs> I want them to watch movies, etc. All right, so, uh, so the next one is, yeah, since uh, COVID-19 exists, so how do you tolerate uh, and handle the learning style with students when conducting your lecture? I love this question a lot because for me, um, it's a challenging phase for all teachers, yeah. including myself. Yeah. Uh, um, before I join MC Plus, uh, what I did with my students, I on, I, I'm being honest, eh? I give them a, a Um, an exercise, which I screenshot an exercise. I give them on Telegram. They answered. They screenshot. Uh, they took a picture and then said they send it back to me again. And mm-hmm. that's the whole class. That's it. That's the class. I didn't oh. teach. I I oh. didn't part. Uh, dulu awal awal masa PKP first dulu. I, I feel bad. I feel bad for doing that because I didn't have the resources. I was at home back in Dumun mm-hmm. because we are stuck there, right? And mm-hmm. I I didn't know. How else should I teach? So sometimes I would do much like, whenever I feel bad because I I have a gaji now, so I feel bad. So what I did, I still check out the orang. Okay, guys, malam ni I'll I'll do I'll IG live. You ask me question. So my my students will come to my IG live and they ask me question and I answer. So so olah olah I mengajar. But that happen once a month. Oh. Twice a month, far fetch from one another, right? So I I feel bad at first. Sampai lah I join MC Plus. Alhamdulillah, they gave me a studio. Tahu, but when the MRS Emo Azam tu, they come, they bring a studio like a TV for me, an iPad, everything for free for me to teach mm. online. So I can use that for my students. So Alhamdulillah. Uh, right now, I think I am capable, and I think my uh, I am more equipped. To do online learning, lah. I would say. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, move on to the next question. Uh, can we know uh what is your teaching philosophy? Are the two, are the two great quotes that I always um remember, lah. I it, the much like it, safe at the back of my mind. The first one, masa I belajar dulu, um, they kata macam ni. Um, Being equal, um, uh, no, no, no. What was the word? Ah, uh, remember. Lah, masa tadi ingat je nak bagi tahu kan? Okay. Um, <laughs> being fair to all the students doesn't mean you need to be equal in your teaching. Being fair, meaning when I am in the class, I give a set of question, the same set of question to everyone, because I want to be fair for everyone. But in the class, being fair is not that. We mm-hmm. need to know the 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 needs of the students, who, mm-hmm. uh, and they have different needs. One student from another, they have different needs. So I need to cater to all needs. So being fair in the class doesn't mean we need to be equal. That's my first teaching philosophy. Second one, the responsibility of a teacher is their responsibility. Uh, the responsibility of a teacher is their responsibility. So in order for me to be a great teacher. I need to give response, give give feedback, um, immediate feedback, and um, and uh, my uh feedback should always uh, reflect and should always um impact be impactful for the students like that. Uh, that's two. Uh, those are the two my of my thing te- uh, teaching uh, philosophy. I would say. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we will begin with the next question, which is, um, how did uh, you first involved in sharing a talk? Okay, mm. 
I was being uh, given a chance uh, by my college, kan? Uh, because I was uh, an alumni, I was being invited by my the counselor and uh, my lecturers a lot of times. So, um, be- because of the pandemic, je, I didn't have a chance to meet you guys. So there are a lot of batches yang baru-baru ni yang I didn't meet. Before that, right after I, I, I even after I uh, go to New Zealand pun, every year I will come to KPM and meet the student oh. sampai mana junior 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 semua kenal I okay. I, I, I tak kenal lah dia orang kenal I, I famous kan <laughs> <laughs> okay. tapi tapi the the fact that you guys came to me and find me and ask me this phone is an honor because um because we never met kan I don't know whether we have met or not mm. have we met no we never um, we never met, we never met well, Yeah. Oh, during Najwa Latif. Yes, can I was there. Oh, I, I don't know. Crush. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Oh, okay, so for the next question is, uh, how did you develop an idea to produce a book? Uh, tadi punya soalan pun I don't think I have answered Tapi itulah I was being invited lah That was the answer lah kot uh, Okay The development for books kan oh, The first book I have written Was um, uh, My PT3 book So the PT3 book I was being offered By a friend A colleague uh, uh, Turns out Her friend Yang ada publication Blah 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 tu uh, So uh, long To cut long story short Um, I was being invited to be a writer, uh, a co-writer for English PT3 book. So it, it is um, a book with sets of questions for PT3 because PT3 uh, uh, revolves a new format, right? Uh, that particular year. Mm-hmm. I was in my third year of teaching. Bayangkan, in my third year of teaching, I dah uh, being offered to write a book. I was like, take the opportunity lah and I wrote that book Alhamdulillah it wasn't a good book I I find I found a lot of flaws in that book but Alhamdulillah lah it was my first achievement my first baby after all so far I have already written five six lah in the making um, because I uh, right now momentarily I am writing for SPM books pula Uh, I uh, and so ada four books yang I buat under publication and ada one book I wrote um, I self published uh, um, pin with words tu self published tu the idea came when I uh, I was alone at my house during PKP I have my laptop with me so I have uh, I uh, write uh, a lot of descriptive sentences and I took a lot from the books from the interviews etc. Uh, I compile everything according to topics. I I thought at first I want to give to my students only, but when I I showed uh, what I have done to a friend of mine, she recommended me to make it a book. So I did it all by myself. Alhamdulillah, I met a good printer, publication, etc. <coughs> so I self-published that book lah. Alhamdulillah, that's the long story short. Uh, so for the last uh, question for this fact checking, um, what positive habits in teaching that make uh, your you turn English into a fun subject? Okay, um, this is actually the other question yang I subsequent dengan the answer I did yang tadi. I said I always uh, ask my students what to do and I always um, ask them to watch movies. Okay, movies time, movies time. Like that, mm-hmm. right? Because, uh, and I didn't like let them to watch English movies sahaja. I let them to watch Hindi movies, Korean movies, movies in general, not just English. Wow. Kenapa? The reason is um, I want them to think English is a fun subject to learn mm-hmm. because you guys I know for a fact that you guys love Korean kan you guys suka uh, Korean drama K-pop songs yeah. I don't know lah I, I think most of the teenagers love that Kenapa? and some of them are able to converse in Korean they are able yeah. to understand what uh, they are speaking with one another in Korean Uh, language uh, mm-hmm. in Korea and and then they are able to understand that kenapa because they fell in love with the culture they fell in love with the language etc so my aim is to make sure they fell in love with the subject they fell in love with the language 
then they will independently learn. I always believe that. So I, I will always do whatever it takes to make sure my students enjoy being in my class. I, I, I don't want to be the most popular teacher. But no, I, I didn't want that. I want the I want them to like the language, like the subject. Because at the end of the day, uh, after um, examination, I will have a different persona altogether in my class. I sangat garang. My students will always say that. I cannot have that anger in me. I will always cakap, uh, habislah keluar perkataan-perkataan ni. Macam, I can marah if they didn't follow what I have thought. I, 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 maknanya, mm. um, I, I'm not the kind of teacher on friendly so, um, no I'm not so uh, I am also a ketua warden a ketua discipline for unit warden so I I have different persona with me as well so my aim is not for them to like me like as a person but mm-hmm. to like the language mm-hmm. uh, that's it you, I always say to myself if you don't if you don't like me, it's fine. I'm not here uh, and I'm not being paid by Mara for you to like me. I don't give, I always say these two mm-hmm. words. I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit if you don't like me. I don't care. I uh, So long as you like the language, that's it. That's my aim. Okay. Okay. Honey? Okay. <laughs> uh, lagging, sorry. I like her. It's okay, sir. Sikit-sikit. Sikit-sikit. Oh, itulah internet slow sikit, sorry. Alright. Okay. Nak tanya ni. Okay, sir. So, uh, so that's, uh, we have done for 14 patients for our fact checking. So, now we have uh, a few extra questions uh, to be asked from you. Okay. Okay. Takut. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Um, from you first. Okay. Um... Okay, one last question from me that I really wanted to know because maybe I will get an offer to to study abroad. Okay. Was there any I mean was there any anxiety that you need to perfect your English before you went to New Zealand oh my and God. speak with it? I love this question a lot. You know, I was there uh, for a Tindikan program. Tindikan ni is a program for college Mara students, not for college professional Mara. We are the subsequent oh. for college. You know college Mara, right? Those are the people, young straight A students. I'm not. I wasn't. So, uh, I was there at the 28 of us all together, 14 in Wellington and, and, um, and the balance, the remaining is in Auckland. Uh, and only six of us from KPM. Others are all from K- KM, Kolej Mara, and they are fluent. And all girls, all girls, me, they are very fluent and they are very outspoken. Um, wow. uh, their English is exquisite and they judge me a lot. I didn't, I wasn't good at English. I tak pandai English. I was so bad i remember when um um apa uh, we sebelum pergi new zealand we, we need to go to summer school dekat mrsm alo gajah tau so we went mm-hmm. there for a month uh, the lecturer from new zealand came all the way to teach us for a month before pergi ni a mm. month punya persediaan sebelum new zealand tau so itulah first time i met my group of uh, stu- uh, friends lah ni and i remember that one time kan i i cakap i uh, i cakap uh, idiom uh, they are laughing like uh, uh, at the back end because they are judging my english and then there's this one time and this one girl um, she's very good at speaking kan i was sangat takut dengan dia macam um uh, garang sikit kan and then she asked me um asli could you please hand, uh, give me my uh, pencil case at the back so i i came i i went there i take the pencil case and i bought i bought what the tata and it, it dropped down it dropped and then she, oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry oh yeah you should be sorry <laughs> at that time I, I i swear to god i said i really want to um sharpen my english skills i want to do my best um uh, mm-hmm. because i'm um, on of two things i want to prove to myself that i can i can do this i want to be the best among them and second one i want to teach i am going to teach students i how can i teach students mm-hmm. if my english is very bad right so i tried so hard i did a lot of things I have the anxiety, Amira, like your question, a lot. But Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I was the only one who got the award uh, uh, from the rest of them. So, yes, we did it. Oh, KPM. 
Yeah, that's it. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Okay, next question. Okay, uh, the next questions from me is, yeah, like uh, the earlier questions was, uh, I asked you uh, how your preparation before you going into a class for teaching. So now the okay. question is, um, how how your how do you usually uh, make, uh, I mean, like what's your preparation before you get into class as a student? Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, when I was in New Zealand, or even be, be, uh, when I was in KPM, lah, kan? Uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. As a student, um, uh, like I said, I'm not really studious, but um, I, um, I have a friend yang macam always study. Um, a guy uh, when I was in New Zealand, um, he's my housemate, my roommate. He's very, um, very kind, very nice. Right now, he's teaching in MRSM Tawau. He studied a lot, but I don't know why. Um, his result wasn't as good. I am the kind of person who will sleep. Even if tomorrow I have a test, I don't care, I'll sleep. I need my sleep. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'll wake up very early and I'll study. That is my routine. Whereas, he Thank will you. study like a week before. Like, <laughs> he gives me anxiety, you know. I, I am not that kind of a person. But Alhamdulillah, I didn't know why. I didn't... I, I got a better result than him and he always feel bad about that. No, he, he didn't feel bad about that, but I can sense that he felt a bit, um, I don't know, uh, feel uh, uh, sad. Envy. No, he's not envy, envious no, at all, but uh, he feel yeah. a bit sad, etc. Like, we uh, we were best friends when we were off in New Zealand, uh, we were in New Zealand, but we still are. We still, uh, but then again, um, yeah, I believe that I am the kind of a student who will study at my own pace. I I don't give. Uh, I I am not going to like uh, give a full attention. Um, like studying very hard. Um, or something. Uh, I believe in my own capability. I'm not very good, uh, and I believe in my mom's do. Uh, whatever. Whenever I have assignment and um, uh, test, I will call her, and I know for the fact that Allah will help me. I believe that uh, up until now. I am that kind of student. And whenever before I, I, I um, go into an examination hall, I will prepare a note. At uh, uh, the F4, too, I will belah tiga, fold it into three, and then I will mm. write and sampai penuh that F4. Uh, one, one subject, mm. one F4. Ada two, three lah kadang-kadang for different subjects. Kan? And I will do that like 5 a.m. Macam exam at Start at 8 a.m. Three three hours before, I will start writing everything back. Sambil saya tulis, sambil saya hafal. Uh, and I believe it works for me because it doesn't. I don't know whether it works for everyone else, but it works for me. The notes too I give to my junior uh, right after too, and she said it works for her as well. Alhamdulillah lah. Tapi um, that's what I did. Uh, okay, so uh, for the last one, um, uh, do you have any any kind of advice for us for aspiring new uh, english uh, degree holder you guys are going to take english can whether or not you guys are going to be teachers ke tak ke is up to you but um, um don't settle for mediocrity that is my only advice don't settle for mediocrity mediocrity means don't just More. be average uh, don't be average at what you are yeah. doing be the mm -hmm. best. Right now, I am Cik Gumara. I'm very new, but I know for a fact that everyone knows me now. I'm not saying this out of arrogance. Eh, tau. I'm saying this out of self-assuredness. I know for a fact that I have achieved a lot as a new teacher. I still believe I am a new teacher, but I, I baru five years of teaching right now. I, I Allah, when Reza will watch me, when Reza, I'm not arrogant or anything. I'm just saying that I, I, I've done a lot of things. I, I'm not the kind of person who will just sit still. Right now, I have three projects subsequently. On, uh, I am uh, doing uh, volunteering. I am um um i i volunteered for anak anak cancer for quantan and i did check go kickstart edification mm. program uh, i uh, i was one of the committees and then i i mark papers on top of that i'm writing books and on top of that i am uh, doing a project with uh berita harian there are a lot of things so i'm juggling 
it's, it can it takes a toll on me. I I lost my uh, my uh, my nights. Um, I, I have uh, dozens of sleepless nights, but I am enjoying myself. I am I'm yet to be married, so I am before I'm settling down. I want to pursue um the uh the best that I can. So that is what I'm doing. You guys pray for me, and I I I hope. The same for you guys. You should not be average. Be outstanding in whatever you are doing. Mm-hmm. Take an idol. Always take an idol. Macam, okay, you guys are doing this. Nampak seorang tu bagus. So you follow them, but do not follow the path. Because masa I jadi cikgu MRSM, I have this one idol, a teacher, a, a male teacher from MRSM Sandakan. Uh, he represented Mara to Canada for Microsoft teacher of a Microsoft oh. Educator Program, Mr. Alif. Uh, he, he is very good. He's from Sabah. I want to follow him, but I don't want to be a Microsoft Educator as well. But I want, so I want, I do my own path. Faham tak? I like that. I, um, okay. I'm a close friend with him. So, like that. Uh, be outstanding in what you are doing. And I hope all of you will go to New Zealand. If you have a chance, pergi luar negara, do not choose any Man. other country. Man. Eh. Jaga orang New Zealand sahaja Go there please So that I can go there And I can boleh makan Kurang masak lah That's all <laughs> After this we have Internship too Oh really Where When are you going to take uh, to Do your internship We don't find it yet Oh, you are still finding an internship. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, yeah. um, I'll keep you guys in touch. If I were to have any opportunities, uh, I will give you guys. Uh, I will let you know. Eh. Well, okay. Right? Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Pay internship. Pay internship. Pay internship. Insyaallah, <laughs> uh, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. You guys orang mana? Hani, where are you from? Uh, negeri Sembilan. Hani Sembilan. Uh, Izati. Besut tu Allah kita uh, Amira Selangor Selangor which part of Selangor Sungai Buloh Oi we are very close I was so maju nak lah tak oh. jauh lah juga was like Sungai Buloh is like there Tapi uh... not that far not that far All right uh, Okay before we end let's take picture together yeah. Boleh Boleh Okay Okay, ready, ready. One. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Kalau post Instagram tag, I. Oh, I like to see. Okay, guys, take care. May Allah bless. Okay, thank you. Good luck in your future endeavors. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir, for the... Bye everyone. <laughs>